Hey, welcome everyone to another episode of The Exponential Files. I'm Larry Laffer, your co-host with Jim Lowenstern, team leader, luxury uh, real estate guy. And we are joined today by uh, two great agents, EXP agents uh, from Portugal, Vitor and Francisco, um, who have a great property in uh, Portugal that we're going to talk about. Welcome to the show, both of you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be with you. And uh, I hope it's uh, the first, but not the last uh, time we work together. Thank you very I, much. That's that's nice. So you, you have recently joined EXP. Um, you were agents for a while with other agencies? Yeah, uh, we worked together, me and Victor. First, uh, with another French company named the EAD, Hi AD, I suppose. And uh, afterwards, we were invited to, to begin SAFTI in Portugal. Uh, but uh, then we were invited to, to join EXP. It's another thing, it's another way to be. It was very interesting, and we decided to join. Uh, EXP and we are happy for this. Thank you. That's that's wonderful. Happy to hear that. Uh, was it very difficult when you they call it onboarding when you started because there's so much available to you? Okay. Uh, now the first thing it's that uh, we came from a small company and suddenly we arrived to a full world. Let us say. Uh, we have a lot of uh, software to learn, to work with. Uh, we had a lot of people just uh, received us. And I suppose this moment, it's more than 100,000 okay. companies, uh, wow. colleagues in, in this company. And uh, uh, to learn all this in a few months, it's not easy. But uh, we are... <laughs> We are trying to join uh, as uh, so far as we are able, and uh, I think we will, we will arrive also with your help, of course. I am so impressed with your English because I can't speak a word of Portuguese. I'm a, uh, it's free lessons ready for you if you are sure. so. <laughs> So uh, let, let me ask you, um, Francisco and uh, Vitor, uh, you've been selling mainly luxury properties in Portugal up to this point, because that's how I I came to know you is through mm. one of your listings. Okay, uh, we we decided to point out specially for uh, luxury type of houses, but uh, we don't uh, left. Uh, the doesn't let us say the small market because uh, as you know uh, a country has uh, several types of uh, uh, buyers and uh, uh, we we point out the luxury uh, houses but we we have something uh, less expensive for some type of persons okay of course all right the market uh, asks also for this type of uh, properties and we have it. So I've heard over the years that Portugal is an amazing place to retire. Yeah, that's a fantastic. Uh, I myself am retired, <laughs> but uh, uh, it has uh, two or three points especially that are very well uh, accepted by the people mainly from America and uh, North Europe. It's Algarve. I think you know already Algarve and uh, uh, the area of Lisbon. Sure. Meanwhile, if you give me one minute more, just to invite you to see uh, some information we have on our, on our site, where in uh, our own Portugal, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll promote and, uh, your, your site we, for sure. We have a lot of information of, uh, about the lifestyle in Portugal, 
we point out uh, that the, the, the type of things that Victor is a master uh, when he prepared the presentations of several locals in Portugal that are very, very important for retired, uh, retired people. Because uh, we need, uh, uh, we must be frank, we need to, to have hospitals, we need to have beaches, we need to have golf countries, we need to have uh, uh, good gardens, but also uh, a small grocery or a pharmacy or where you can find it. Yes. Just to have yes. environments where you can uh, find all this. And let, us, let me defend a, a little Portugal. Um, well, the people, it's good enough. It, we received very well the, the foreign people and uh, mm, a lot of them, some years after, they asked to have also Portuguese nationality. Sure. One, one of the very special things about EXP is exactly what's going on here, is that we talk to agents who are doing their work in all over the world. And um, you came into um, Castles of Luxury, which is on the EXP workplace, and um, put up some of your listings, joined that group. If you're out there and you haven't joined Castles of Luxury, please go in and do it right now. We're just two away from 400 of you joining us and uh, do it tonight. Do it before midnight tonight. <laughs> Operators are standing by. Um, but um, it's an absolutely beautiful property. Can I go to that right now, Jim? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's one of true. the other very special things that uh, Castles Luxury does for you is we have an electronic magazine where you can promote your properties and your um, area uh, for free. All you have to do is be a member of Castles Luxury and be an EXP agent. So let's take a look at this awesome magazine. And uh, I'm sharing right now. There we go. Um, do you want to talk about this a little bit? Uh, Francisco, Vitor, or Francisco, you want to talk about uh, e either one of you? Uh, I'm not sure. The property on the right for the viewers. Victor, do you have to speak? You have to unmute. Uh -huh. Vitor, you're muted. He did. Sorry, sorry, please. Uh, Francisco. Hmm? É melhor dizer a ele que isto é, ele está a querer saber onde é que é esta propriedade, não é? Não, eu quero que, que tu fales sobre essa propriedade. Epá, será melhor se tu a falar, pá, porque eu engasgo. Ok? Ok. Pronto, isto é, são 500 metros quadrados, é pá, é um, dentro de um campo de golfe que é o sétimo campo de golfe da Europa. É pá, e pronto, isso são propriedades de luxo, é pá, com seis quartos. É ok, uh... I'm sorry, uh, I'm okay. going to uh, try we, to give you uh, the explanation. Uh, it's a, a house uh, with more than 500 square meters um, with a swimming pool, six bedrooms, six um, water closet, and um, well, it's a luxury property, just inside a uh, Gulf country. First of all, it's at Algarve, of course. And uh, well, it's ready to deliver. It's very, very, very luxury house in a, one of the most wonderful parts of Algarve. Yeah, it's, it's truly beautiful. It's very contemporary, very modern looking. Yeah, I love the style. So yeah. let's talk about Algarve. Um, it keeps coming up. Uh, I know zero about Algarve. Um, I'm sure Larry knows a lot about it, but- uh, uh, A little. Yeah, if you can tell us, Francisco, uh, where that is. If Larry- to the rest of the country. To begin, please, just tell, tell us what you know, and I'm trying to complete your information. Yeah. I'd, I'd love to know everything. <laughs> it sounds like a great place. Where's it located in the, in the, uh, in the country? 
It's on the south, really the south part of Portugal. Okay. The water, it's it's a special corner because it's Atlantic Ocean, but hot. Yes. As I said, the, the water, yeah. it's always up to 20 degrees. That's Sometimes so we take bus, we can go to the beach on uh, November, December. It's not uh, very rare. And uh, that's the reason why a lot of people think that Portugal has the capital at Algarve. Because yeah. everybody speaks about Algarve. Sure. Uh, well, it's something different. And Algarve has everything that uh, someone needs. Since the, the, the hospital, the, the Gulf countries, the everything to, to spend uh, a life in a fully well, um, well done uh, life in a in so, here, so how, in how, how, corner of, of uh, Europe. I how that how are that. Americans uh, accepted? Like if cool. I wanted to move there, what 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 would I do? And uh, oh, are we are we okay? It's, with it's more or less love? easy uh, because uh, we are ready to to help someone that wants to have his house here. It has some steps um, that uh, we have to uh, to accomplish, and uh, there is also, especially for American people, uh, there is always uh, also a system that allows the people to have a permission uh, at, uh, and uh, uh, permission of um, a citizen of the Europe. Okay. So uh, there is a plan called D7 that uh, uh, we can put at your disposal. And it's very easy. You buy a house here, you make some transference of your, uh, of your money, let us say, for Portugal, and you can have a permission to live in Portugal and to circulate in all Europe with the same facility that I have. Oh. I can circulate in Europe with the same facility that someone coming from another country can have here. So if you're coming from the United States, where do you fly into and how difficult it is to get from the airport to this property? Well, uh, it's easy to arrive directly to Faro because we have flights directly from all over the world to Faro. That's the capital of Algarve. Okay. Afterwards, you take or your own car or you rent a car or you ask for a service and taxi. Certainly. Uh, there is a, a main road that covers all long Algarve. And then you, you can circulate on the main road and then you, you, you are out of the main road just on the point you want. So Wonderful. it's easy to, to, to arrive there uh, if someone arrives uh, directly to Faro. If a person wants to uh, arrive in Lisbon, then uh, it's better. That's my advice. Uh, you rent a car and you so, do a good trip by main road directly from uh, Lisbon to Algarve. Sure. Let us say it's two half, two and a half hours on a, a, a good uh, ride to. to so so to this this town is Santo Antonio, uh, Vila Real de Santo Antonio. Just it's just side by side to Spain. It's on the uh, east point of Algarve. Okay, south and east. the west, the east point of Algarve. Let sure. us say from from this house 
to um, to Spain, you will take uh, five to ten minutes by oh. car. Oh, that's great! You're right on the, the border. city of Sevilla. Hey, before we uh, before we uh, move yeah. away from from this magazine, I just want to show our audience um, the types of properties that are being um, promoted here. Uh, um, and again, this is a uh, a free uh, promotion uh, for you if you're a member of a Castles Luxury and an EXP agent. So we will promote your properties. Uh, we'll invite you on to talk about it. Uh, there's a variety of fantastic properties here. Uh, and we start having all... uh, hot links to uh, direct to the websites also. Exactly, exactly. Digital. And, and we're just so excited to have uh, our first guests from your country uh, here on the show. Exactly. It is a pleasure for us to be here. And thank, once again, thank you very much to receive so us. How, how many uh exp agents are there in portugal right now uh, in portugal like this three, about 300 i suppose at the moment okay and and do you know when the country was opened up as an exp country i suppose when and half year more or less victor oh, okay. do you do you know it two years no two years less than two years no yeah Yes, 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 yes. Maybe. So why don't we talk a little bit about what it's like to sell real estate in Portugal? For instance, every commission. Every country are, is different. Yeah. Are there buyer's agents and seller's agents? What's your commission? Um, how does all of that work? Francisco. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, as I told you, uh, we are very recent at the EXP. Okay. 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 But, 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 but in, in, this but in moment, general, let's, in let's this say moment. I have a buyer for that house. Yeah. Someone gets in touch with me and says, I'm thinking of going to Portugal. Of course, uh, the, let us say, we usually, we say 50-50. And that explains how all our properties are open to be shared with everybody in EXP all over the world. Certainly. First point. Second point, the, the price, the commission, it's always uh, divided by 50-50. Yes. Uh, we support the, the, sale, the buyer when he arrives, if he needs a lot of... As an example, if you want to have the permission to live in Portugal, it's one thing, we can do the service. We have lawyers that uh, will uh, represent and prepare all the documentation. The, let us say the part more easy, we do it directly. The most official things uh, are done by uh, lawyers because sometimes they, they have to represent the people and so on. So it's, it's more, more. But, but you don't have to be a um, Portuguese citizen to buy real estate in, in Portugal. No, of course not. Okay. Everybody is welcome. And, and, and what's the commission rate? Is it 5% that for example? That depends. Let us say um, we have commissions at this moment, uh, our property between two, and five percent certainly that's kind of like the united states as well two percent is very low but england yep. united kingdom only has a one percent so um we're happy to we, have, buyer we have some some properties that have two percent others we arrive to five percent and that's what we have to share 50 50 it's that sure. that commission of course uh, with uh, each property uh, when we arrive in this point, the, in this point, we will inform our partner what's the commission we can certainly we certainly can share. Um, do you have to get a license, and what's it like getting a license if you do? License for what? For to sell real estate here in the United States, we have to have a license. So that means we have to have a certain amount of study, and we have to pass a test. And we have to do that every two years. 
Uh, ah. No, in Portugal, in this moment, we have to, to have uh, um, some formation done by, uh, usually by the owner of the AMI license. That, that there is a number at, that is attributed to uh, AXP, as an example, and uh, under this flag, mm -hmm. we can work once we have the, received all the information that uh, takes, uh, let us say, two, three months. Okay. Um, the inf uh, information about uh, uh, how to do the business, mm -hmm. what's the, what are the rules that we must uh, accomplish, and uh, how we must proceed. Certainly. Certainly. Is there any kind of um, governmental group that oversees, like if you do something, I know you won't do anything wrong, but if, if somebody does oh, yeah. something wrong, is it, um, who can the consumer go talk to? about that? Uh, there is a two institution, institutional uh, organization. One, it's called, uh, 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 it's a, the, the National Association of all the uh, um, immobile um, advisors. Certainly. It's official that uh, will check all the companies that work on this uh, market. Second point, there are uh, also uh, certain laws that we must accomplish to be in this market. Certainly. So it's not uh, open to everybody that it's, uh, we must have some kind of background to be accepted Certainly. to do this job. Um, and uh, if something goes wrong, anyway, the client, the buyer, or the seller is uh, the, the, this point where he can ask for, uh, he can present his, uh, his claim. Uh huh. Um, Break, breaking news Jerry Lee Lewis just passed away. Oh, that's that's too bad. In this time, it's not a hoax. Yeah, <laughs> breaking news. Um, that is that is a bit sad. I'm, I, uh, it is sad. Yeah, I don't know if you know Jerry Lee Lewis. He was this, uh, a rock and roll singer here in the Great United. Balls. Yeah, of I know, fire. I know him. Great Balls okay. of Fire. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's dead. So this moment. Yeah. Well, yeah. I uh, well, literally just now. Oh, <laughs> clearly I was the first to hear, and now now you. Okay. Have a yeah, yeah. Clearly, you're distracted. <laughs> no, it just popped up on my screen. Oh, okay. Okay, for my, I... for my generation, for my generation, the bulls of fire. It's well known. That's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so so here's a question. Um, Exp has um, an interesting business model where agents can grow teams and reap the benefits of growing a team. Yeah. Um, are you fully aware of all the aspects of the business model and embracing it? Have you, have you uh, started growing a team in uh, Portugal yourself? Or outside of Portugal, there's no limitations? So far as I know, uh, I don't follow any of these groups. Me and Victor, we work, let us say, uh, alone. We present our work inside the EXP and abroad as we can, but uh, we are not included in, especially in uh, any group. Not at the, up to, to this sure. moment, of course. Yeah. Well, now you're part of Castle's luxury. No, no. That's yeah. uh, that's our first. Thank you. Oh, oh good. That's that's excellent. They that. always remember the first. So 
That's good. We'll be. <laughs> <with that. laughs> yes. Um, what what other things? Uh, I know it's a beautiful country. Um, are there restaurants and places to shop near that property that you you have on the market? Yeah, um, that's a, a town called Vila Real de Santo Antonio. Uh, there is a story interesting about that. This town has been drawn by the same um, architect that uh, drew a part of Lisbon that uh, uh, had the problem in 1755, a great uh, earthquake that destroyed the uh, central part of Lisbon. So uh, Lisbon, if you see a, a hair photo, you see that this part of Lisbon, it's very uh, square. Every, all the streets, all the, the they are really uh, vertical one to the others. Now, Vila Real de Santo Antonio is just exactly the same thing. Let us say the, the same draw in, uh, that we found in uh, the Lisbon, it's the same draw we found in Vila Real de Santo Antonio. Because it has been the draw in 1755. Another thing, it's uh, this town have also established uh, a capacity to be uh, good enough to be together and uh, uh, alone. So they has uh, all the services, they have all the, the connections they need, but uh, if there is a problem, they have everything to solve the, the, the problems, the, the people that is inside this town. Sure. Well, it's, your town sounds so much easier. We're right around Boston, Massachusetts. We're right outside Boston. And that town um, has been around since the 1600s, but all of the roads, uh, nothing is perpendicular you can't get somewhere from anywhere uh you really have to know it because they were started um it was originally agricultural and they would take the the cows and the sheep they would take to uh to a a, a common area um uh, and they would graze and then they would take their cows home well it was cow paths originally and they just made the cow paths the roads later as they went along. And um, so you have to be about as smart as a cow to drive around here. <laughs> no, you have to be a lot okay. smarter than a cow. No. Yeah, a lot smarter than a cow. <laughs> anyway. But, uh, here, uh, we have the same things in, in the, 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 all the towns in, in Portugal, because uh, there is no square. There. It is always uh, round and round. And it was now, sometimes it's forbidden to go on one sense, it's forbidden to go on the other sense and so on. But that town is uh, drawing, is uh, having uh, drawn in a way that even today, it's easy to be there. It's easy so, to circulate and you can find there everything you need. How, how are the taxes? Let's talk about income taxes. Sorry? Uh, income, in, tax income tax. Ah. Um, there is a, a program, I told you, the D7 program, that uh, uh, if you buy a house here and ask to be resident in Portugal, then you have to transfer just a little uh, very little money, let us say, more or less for you and your wife, let us say, a thousand dollars a month. It's enough. Let, let us say it's the minimum that you can need to have some. Okay. To live. And, uh, um, and then, then there's no taxes? Uh, for the first 10 years, you pay no tax. Wow. And the second time, 
the, the other 10 years, you pay only, I suppose, no, I'm speaking by heart, uh, you pay 10%. And then you, you go to the program of uh, national, that all of us pay the taxes. But they let us say that you have some years to, to relax a little. That is an incentive to move to Portugal for sure. Yeah, there's a number of incentives. Zero percent taxes. <laughs> yeah. We are ready to receive you. Right. You, as right. I say, you had me at zero. That's that's a nice <laughs> number. It's a round number that I can live with. There's a, there was a little too much glass in that house for me. I mean, you know, I like to uh, walk around with less clothes I, on. You, you have a point there, Larry. I love the style. I have a lot of glass in my house, not quite that much, but I also have top down, bottom up shades. Sure. And, you know, I'm always adjusting them. But yeah, I, I like a little private. I like the light. Sure. You get great light with with the walls of glass. Sure. Well, uh, Victor and, and Francisco, it's been such a pleasure to have you here on the Exponential Files. Do you have anything else to share before we, we sign off for today? Uh, let me say two things. When, uh, once again, thank you very much for your invitation. Our pleasure. Well, second, we are ready to work with you as you wish and as you want. And one point more. We are here to learn how the, prof the great professionals, they work, please teach us. Teach us, please. Thank you very much. Thank and you very much. Send us, send us all you. those listings also. The more, the better. We'll get them in the magazine, put them okay. on the news okay. feed, okay. We'll get them in the websites, we'll blog about them. Okay, okay, okay. thank hopefully, you. Hopefully we'll sell them. We want That's you to the succeed. The most important thing. Yeah, we want you to succeed. Be happy. We'll take a vacation together. Okay. <laughs> Where can we go? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Larry. Thank you very Thank much. You, James. Thank you, Francisco. Bye -bye. Thanks, thanks, thanks very much. Pleasure. Okay. Our pleasure as well. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to another no. episode of Broker Talk. And we look forward no, no, to the exponential you. files. Whoop, Get the exponential files. How could I have made that horrible mistake? <laughs> the exponential files. Um, and uh, we look forward to seeing you next week when we have another great guest.